Hi, I'm Captain Vince Wolzinski. I'm Master Chief Roger Griswold. Safety is an important part of robot design. We're going to look at a machine that can throw softballs and look at it through the eyes of safety. This machine has a single motor directly connected to a disc. The loading mechanism is a tube and a compliant spacer gives a bit as a ball passes between it and the spinning disc. Safety is a design requirement. A safe system is one that was designed safely from the start. Robot safety should be formally addressed during the design process. A design safety review should be conducted early in the design cycle. Machines are dumb. Humans are not. Use that to your advantage. When working around the machines, use caution, have a healthy regard for the forces, and think. Always wear eye protection when working on and around machines. No part of your body should ever come in contact with a machine. Machine entanglement is a risk that always must be avoided. Never work around a machine with uncontrolled hair, while wearing jewelry, loose-fitting clothing, and certainly never while wearing a tie. You might have thought that Dean's open collared shirt and Woody's ponytail were mere fashion statements, but they're more than that. They're showing a healthy regard for machinery. Safe systems control the rate and amount of energy transferred where and when it's needed and prevent the transmission of harmful forms of energy. For the softball throwing machine, energy transfer is controlled by the motor speed and the fixed distance between the rotating and stationary surfaces. The loading mechanism prevents hands from coming in contact with the spinning disc. Safe systems anticipate problems and incorporate things such as overload protection, weak links, shear pins that fail to protect the rest of the machinery, such as a fuse on the softball thrower. Machines must be designed with guards. These shields must be affixed to the machine and be strong enough to withstand impact. Guards provide protection from outside elements and contain system failures should the device ever have a bad day. If the guard needs to be removed for maintenance or testing, the system should not be operated. Shields and guards should never be removed when machinery is in operation. The loading mechanism for the softball thrower acts as a guard to prevent the operator's hands from contacting the spinning disc. The safety of this design could be improved by adding a shield all the way around the spinning disc to prevent objects from interacting with the disc. Pinch points exist in machines between sliding or rotating components, gears, belts, or chains. Shields must be used at all pinch points on the machine. Only personnel that are properly trained should operate machinery, whether that be softball throwers or robots. The operating procedures should be written down, reviewed, and followed. A few more comments on safety. Whenever a component is removed from maintenance, make sure that the machine is locked out and tagged out to prevent using the machine in an unsafe condition. For example, on your robot, pull the power fuse and place signs on the robot and controller alerting others that the system should not be operated. A safety shutdown switch should be installed in reach of the operator. For robots, the power cord for the controller and the circuit breaker can serve as safety shutdowns. In the event that an injury occurs, you need to be prepared. Your work area should be equipped with a first aid station and a list of medical facilities that can be contacted for help should the need arise. Safety is a key component of the first experience. Your machines are powerful. And an emphasis on safety will benefit all. Good, Good luck, luck and be safe. safe.